Today I'm going to make an AR demo app on Unity with Voxy Plant SDK. So let's start. First step is to visit voxyplant.com and register a free account on the platform. Use your email and password to create account. Username can contain Latin letters, numbers, and hyphen, and also begin with a Latin letter. Then you confirm your account with a code from your email. After that, you can choose currency and storage details in the time zone. Now, to get a video calling functionality, you have to create an application by heading over to sidebar and clicking on applications. Let's create a new application named Video Chat. Now we have to define the scenarios, users and rules for our application. To do that, let's head to Scenario Start. We'll create a new scenario named user to user. To enable our application to make video calls, we'll copy the code given in the repository and pass it to the newly created scenario. We'll need two users to make and receive calls. So let's create them and name test user 1 and test user 2 and assign both a password. This will be required later. Now we'll head to the root tab and create a rule named intercom. We'll leave the pattern tab as it is and assign the previously created scenario. Our Box and Plan account is now all set up to make video calls. To set up this Unity project, we'll need the project files provided in the GitHub repository. Let's download and extract the files to desktop. The Vax Implant Unity ARR demo app contains all the assets required for this AR app.
Let's import this project in Unity. Make sure the 2020 version of Unity is selected as this app was designed on that version. Unity will prompt about the version used previously, but let's click continue for now. Unity will warn about the errors. That's because required packages for AR and vaccine plant SDK are not installed. So let's just click ignore for now. Now the project is loaded, but the main scene for AR app is not selected. Let's head to scenes folder and double click to sample scene. This will load the main scene of this app. Now to set up Wax Implant SDK, we'll download the latest version of Wax Implant SDK from the link provided in GitHub repository. Let's import the downloaded SDK in Unity. Following error occurred because the credentials for test user 1 and test user 2 are not presented in the script. To fix this, we have to double click on this error and comment out the line saying enter credentials here. Now we have to provide the credentials for test user 1 and test user 2 created earlier. The usernames will be as follows. Save changes by pressing Ctrl plus S. So now we have to add packages for AR. To do that, let's head to Package Manager and install AR Foundation and AR Core XR plugin. This project is for Android. If you are building it for iOS, you will need to install AR Kit XR plugin too. Now we have to switch the platform from PC to Android.
Let's head over to player setting. Firstly, we need to uncheck multi-threaded rendering, as it's not supported in AR. Secondly, we have to choose minimum API level 26. Then we need to check the last thing. Hello, unsafe coding. Notice there is no option for XR plugin management here. If this is the case, wait for a little bit or close and reopen player settings and make sure the AR core option is enabled in XR plugin management and both requirement and depth is set to required in AR core. We can also change the company name to anything. In this case, I am choosing Vax Implant. Now make sure the USB debugging option in developer setting of your Android phone is active, otherwise Unity will not be able to detect the device. Once activated, connect your device and keep your fresh. You will see your device in drop-down click on your device and hit build and run. Name your build file to anything you want. App will launch on your phone, but you will not be able to make calls yet, because we have not set up test users too. To do this, let, let open the REPL link. To do this, let's open the REPL link. Here you will find the link for a Chrome extension named Web Server for Chrome. I've already installed it, that's why it's saying launch app. Now we have to choose the web app folder in Wax Implant Video Chunk Web that's provided in the wrapper as well. Now to access the web app just hosted is this link. This is a web app, which will be half as a test user 2, and we'll make calls from our Android app, our test user 1 to this user. Sign in with test user 2 with username and password we have set earlier. Test user 2 is now signed and waiting for call. Let's make a virtual camera, which will stream desktop screen to Unity app using Wax Implant SDK. Let's choose a random video from Wax Implant YouTube channel. And head over to your phone and make sure that our app has both microphone and camera permissions. Launch the app and tap the call test user 2 button to make call.
test user 2 is streaming our desktop screen over a video call, which we can see on all sides of our cube player. Let's disconnect this call and see how the cube will behave. Video stream is gone, let's reconnect. The call is connected and the cube is now displaying our desktop on all sides of our cube.